right, thanks so much, Justin. Hey, what's new in downtown Las Vegas? Well, Vegas 7's Melinda Shekels is here with a full list Hi. of new stuff. Every time I seem to head up there, I'll say, because for me it's up there, um, there's new stuff popping up, and I'm here like, you need to try this, you need to try that, and I'm like, I can't fit it all in. So much going on, yeah. and so many new restaurants, which is always our favorite thing to talk about, of right? Course, yeah. We love to eat, but there's definitely no shortage of things to do in downtown Las Vegas right now, from retail to, you know, interesting people to meet, to art, to food, so... It's exciting. And this first one, Flock and Fowl, I've heard about this. Uh, have you been? Is it opening soon? What's so the Flock and Fowl is already on Sahara, and mm -hmm. they have a very small oh, yeah, space right. there that's open mm -hmm. for lunch. Um, and they specialize in, in Heine's chicken rice, which mm. is a boiled chicken dish with rice. And then they also do variations on it with fried chicken and all sorts of interesting things. It's Chef Sheridan Sue, who also does the restaurant uh, Fat Choy at Eureka. Mm. And now they're opening their, their second location of Flock and Fowl. And it'll be inside the Ogden downtown uh, in the ground floor space. And they actually open today. Okay, that's And they'll really be open cool. in the evening, which will be so great because their present location on Sahara is only open in the day. Okay. Yeah, I love when I hear another location is opening because yeah. it means the company's doing well and uh, second location business. and there will be a bar too. Perfect. So there you go. Good for everyone. <laughs> hey, uh, Naked City Pizza, one of my faves. I believe they're kind of even from my part of town, yep. my part of the uh, country, I should say, in Buffalo, New York. Yeah. Chris and, Palmieri. Uh, yeah, they're and great. And they've had a couple locations over the city. They originally actually started in the pop up space by Dino's, mm -hmm. which many people have come in and out of, including Good Witch and also one of the other people on our list who we'll get to in a second. Yeah. But um, Naked City is coming back downtown and they will be opening in the El Cortez, taking the space that's occupied by Pizza Lotto right now. Okay. And it'll be great because the downtown pizza market's getting super competitive because right. we have evil pie we have um all pizza sort rock. pizza rock mm -hmm. we've got all uh, pop-up pizza at the plaza so this is another great addition all right sounds good and market in the alley and then ferguson's you want to talk about what market in two? the alley is this incredible uh pop-up shop that happens in the alleyway of ferguson's uh the ferguson's motel downtown mm -hmm. across the street from big big rick jig and the old ferguson's motel has such a rich history we actually just chronicled an oral history of it mm -hmm. on DetailV.com if you're interested in, in hearing all about it. But they've started this incredible market and pop-up shop with all these wonderful local vendors that takes place on the weekends. And they'll actually pick that up back in January. They're not going to do one in December. But if you look at their Instagram page, Ferguson's Downtown, it'll have all the information about these incredible vendors. Wow, this is really cool. Okay, let's talk about these moving portraits. It's a series that Vegas 7 is doing, right? Right. We just started this new series called Moving Portraits, and they're very short videos. They're intended for social media and our first one is with downtown real estate mag magnet Ori Vaknin mm -hmm. and he is a really incredible guy. Um, he actually is is leading the, the artistic you know renaissance downtown in terms of what's going on at Jewel and Ogden. Those are, are both of his projects and he gives his full um, thoughts on how to make downtown a world-class neighborhood. All right, so let's get through these real quick. Mob sure. Museum having some events coming They've got up. a really cool car, John Gotti's car. It's actually on display at Fashion Show, and they've got a bunch of cool events um, in December, so check their schedule. And then Crystal uh, Ramirez, we've seen a lot of her pictures. Crystal Ramirez <laughs> is, our, is yeah. our staff photographer, and she actually has a residency at Jewel. Produced Ooh. by Ori. So that's very cool. She'll be there in residence for six months. Awesome. Great work. Check her out. Yeah, congratulations. And Justin Kingsley Hall at Atomic is the new chef. He's a he's an incredible chef. He used to be over at Sparrow and Wolf, and he's now taking over the, the kitchen down there at Atomic. Awesome. Good stuff. Thanks Good so stuff. much, Melinda, as usual. We'll Thank see you, you soon. All right. See you soon. Stay with us. Rebecca.